local, connected at 10 o'clock. You're watching Hawaii News Now with Stephanie Lum and Keahi Tucker. Welcome back. Hawaii Five-0 is not only an action-packed TV series, it's really a one-hour commercial for our islands. The national exposure has definitely been profitable for many local businesses. Steve Uehara tells us more about the 5-0 effect. This should be illegal. It's so good. What the hell is it? Local bus. Lily Hop Anchorage sells like 7,000 of these a day. It seems every week another local business gets a plug on Hawaii 5 -0. Take the battleship Missouri Memorial, for instance. It served as the backdrop when Steve McGarrett met the governor for the first time in the pilot episode. It's also in the credits and... Drop your weapon! I didn't die. Drop your weapon now! This staircase right here is where it all started in episode 7. That's when an ex-Navy SEAL took a bunch of tourists hostage. But it hasn't stopped more visitors from coming. Last December, the Missouri saw 25% more visitors than any other December on record. And just last month, they saw 30,000 paying customers. We had a record year in 2010, uh, I think driven by a number of things. Uh, the publicity that we got surrounding the dry dock, the fact that, as you say, tourism uh, has improved. But uh, I think that the 5-0 effect certainly had a positive impact in the, in the latter half of the year. Carr says the Missouri never paid for the publicity. In fact, 5 -0 paid them a site fee and even let memorial officials look at the script before shooting. The alleged suspect was supposed to come on, you know, covered in blood. And we're like, we don't let people through the gate covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> so they actually had to change it. Two cones, two t-shirts to go. Medium. Exhaling up, bro. My face don't fit on anything smaller. Five-O fans know the character Kamikona as the face of Wyola Shave Ice, but in real life, it's Jerry Lee who's owned the shop for 30 plus years. He's still not sure why producers chose to feature his business. It could be just the name Wyola. You know, it's Hawaiian, right? Versus some other Japanese names. Jerry says he's seen a bump of about 20% in shave ice sales, mostly from tourists, but that's not all. This right here is a placemat that was supposed to appear in one of the episodes. It was drawn by Dano's daughter. Now, Jerry took that image, put it on a t-shirt, and that's also been a hot sale. Yep, t-shirt sales are up 30%. In fact, he had to print Comic Kona shirt twice, and he's having trouble keeping them in stock. I want to meet Batty, you know, I want him to invite him here. Um, have a shave eyes and maybe take pictures and then we can maybe hang it up on the wall here and um, and we can put a little words as founders, you know, because I always tell people he's the owner, you know, and I'm his little brother. Kona Brewing Company is also getting a taste of 5-0 stardom. They saw a 60% increase in their fourth quarter sales last year after that plug. It's probably added 10,000 barrels of beer uh, to the sales over the fourth quarter. Um, and into the into the beginning of the first quarter. It's just been this that that's 10,000 on top of the growth that we were already experiencing. The beer has been featured on a few episodes since as the brew of choice for the show's alpha male. We were associated right there with the leader, the lead actor of the show and the Steve McGarrett, you know. But the biggest product of all has got to be Hawaii itself. When you're watching that show and you're at home in Michigan and it's freezing over there and you see the sunny beaches, does that influence you? Does that make you think, gosh, I want to be over there? Yes. <laughs> I've been dying to come here and been watching the show since it started because I knew I was coming over here. It brings outside dollars. Those dollars then circulate through the economy and it impacts not only the small businesses that are being directly impacted, but uh, they spend their money somewhere else and the, and the multiplier effect of those dollars uh, will be felt uh, throughout the state. And think about it, the show is still only in its first season. Who knows how much stronger the 5-0 effect will get. Steve Uihar, Hawaii News Now. Man, Wyola.